Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday, September 22nd, 2009, the day that my book, Paper Towns, finally comes out in paperback. Willie's so excited he got a haircut. I gotta get myself one because this is not a paperback. It's just, uh, just a piece of paper. Uh Okay, Hank, so before I talk about Paper Towns finally coming out in title-appropriate paperback, I want to say one other thing. It's been almost a year since the hardcover of Paper Towns came out, and I first found myself in a Margot sandwich. And Hank, when I look back on that year, I will always remember it as the year that you and the Nerd Fighters changed my life. Your commitment and organization got Paper Towns on the New York Times bestseller list. You sent me black Santas and great white walls of cow. And most of all, because of the tour to nerdfighting, I got to meet a lot of nerdfighters and talk about the book, which has been so, so fun. So now here it is almost a year later, and Paper Towns is coming out in lots of different countries, and I'm writing a screenplay for the people who made Juno, and it won the Edgar Award. And nerdfighters, I want you to know that none of that would have happened without you. Well, actually, I might have still won the Edgar, but I wouldn't have been able to make that What Would You Do With a Po Bust video. So, Nerdfighters, if you've read Paper Towns, thanks for reading it. Thanks for giving it to your friends. Thanks for making freaking cakes of the paperback cover. I mean, holy snood, Hank, look at that cake! Whenever they change the covers of the books, I'm always really nervous, although I really like the Paper Towns paperback cover. But really, a new cover is just a new opportunity for Nerdfighters to remind me how awesome they are. Like, I wasn't sure if I liked the paperback cover of An Abundance of Catherines until I saw this picture. And then I was like, yes. I like it very much. So okay, thank you to everyone who's read the book, but if you haven't read the book, that's okay. Now you have a great opportunity to. For one thing, Paper Towns used to cost like $18, and now it only costs $9.99. Now you're probably saying, John, I don't want to spend $10 on some book, even if it did win the Edgar Award. That's okay. I'm not asking you to spend $10. I'm asking you to spend $9.99 plus applicable sales tax. So now you may be wondering, okay, but how do I buy the paperback of Paper Towns? It's easy, you can either click the link in the sidebar or you can go to any bookstore in America, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now because I need to go buy a copy of the Paper Towns paperback because I don't have one and I need 15 by Friday when I'm going to announce the winners of the 10 word challenge contest. The only thing you might want to do before you go to a bookstore is write a Nerdfighter note. Nerdfighter notes are, of course, the little notes that Nerdfighters write to other Nerdfighters or would-be Nerdfighters and then slip into copies of my books. Saying like, hey, if you're reading this, you may be a Nerdfighter. Don't worry, it's a good thing. For more information, go to Nerdfighters.com. Best wishes, your name. Only you don't write your name. You write, like, whatever your name is. Well, you don't write, like, whatever your name is. You, you, you write... Ah! And now... To the bookstore! You can pretty much go to any bookstore, but I'm going to Kids Inc. here in Indianapolis because they have Playmobil. So then you go into the bookstore and you find a paperback of Paper Towns. Well, in this particular case, I'm going to sign it. I don't recommend that, that you sign it, but I'm going to. I'm actually going to buy this one, so it's weird if I sign it. And then you get to walk out the door with your brand new copy of Paper Towns. If for some reason the bookstore doesn't have it in stock yet, you can always ask a bookseller to order it for you. Booksellers are nice. I promise. Okay, Hank, I'm going to go work on the Paper Towns screenplay for a while. I'll see you singing tomorrow. I actually have the, I have the camera on right now. Let me just say something real quick. I just found out that the editor of Paper Towns, Julie Strauss-Gable, had a beautiful baby girl, Ariel. Yay, Ariel!